Do you keep copper pennies? They're worth almost two cents each now. I'm sure their prices vary a little bit, but that's the last time I looked. Most of the time when I go through pennies and I decide to keep the copper, I just keep from 1981 and older, and I discard everything from 82 and newer. But half or maybe more than half of the pennies that were made in 82 are copper, and the rest of them are uh, mostly zinc. Um, so I thought I would stick some of the 1982s aside from the last bag of pennies I went through and uh, just weigh some of them and just see uh, which ones are copper, which ones are zinc. Here's the little guide here. When they made the pennies, the copper ones, the early part of 1982, were 3.11 grams and the mostly zinc pennies made the latter part of 1982 are were made at 2.5 grams. So I've got a handful, about 40 pennies. Let's test them real quick, see how many of them are copper and how many of them are zinc. Let's get started. Oh, my machine went off, figures. All right. Copper. 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 Zinc. Zinc. Copper. I'm going to call that one zinc, even though it may not be. Copper. 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 Zinc. Looks like a majority of them are copper. I think that's copper, but I'll call it zinc. Copper. Copper. Well, I would say they made the copper the majority of the year. I, I saw one time the dates, but I don't remember. That one's zinc. I'll go as fast as I can. All right. Definitely the majority of them were copper, and even a couple of them that I, I called zinc were probably copper too, just a little bit more wear. But um, pretty cool. Now we see how easy it is to determine if you got little scales like this. Have a good day.